Hello everyone. We are waiting for Paul Russo today's live. It's going to be very, very funny, very fun. We're gonna be at Paul Russo's studio. We're gonna see how he works with fire and water, creating uh, his artworks. So we are waiting for him to join us. Hey, Paul is here, so let's invite him and get ready to have prepare to ask them. So we are very thrilled to have you, Paul. Hello. <laughs> oh, 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 sorry, sorry. Okay. <laughs> I'm here. Hello. You're Hello. here. You're there. I'm, am I here? Yes, you are. You are, are being you Vincent. Okay. I good. am here. <laughs> well, we're so, all here then. How are you this this I'm very evening, good. This how about morning. You? I'm great. I'm doing great. Yeah, it's uh later there where you are, I think. Or earlier. Hell I don't earlier. know. Don't worry about it's it. It's earlier. It's earlier. One hour before you Well it's good to see so, you no matter what. Tell me how's the future? <laughs> How's the future? Yes, as you are one hour ahead. Uh, looking good. Wait till you see what I did today. Yeah. I guess I'll I, show you in a minute. See. We all want to see. There's people from all over the world joined to hear about your artwork, about your process, your technique, to sneak in your studio, to see what you've been working during this quarantine. So I what, why God, I wish I knew start? where to start. Heavens. Uh, <laughs> let, let, let's, let's start with just a, a, a few minutes of what the heck I'm doing here. I mean, what is all this stuff I'm doing? I mean, and yes, it's very fun pop stuff, but there's more to it than that. And yeah. in fact, it really spans about, I guess, 40 years. Uh, when I was 19, I had a year and a half of art history behind me, and I was thinking you know, about this progression of art and, you know, young 19 year old in art school. And, and I went to the Berkeley Museum and saw a really amazing pop art um, exhibit with everybody, Jasper Johns, Lichtenstein, Warhol, just everybody who was anybody. And this was about 1979. Okay. And um, I looked at all that stuff and I, I kind of came to the conclusion that, you know, my century of the 19th, the 19th, uh, 20th, uh, 20th century was a lot of flat, a lot of flattening. Picasso flattened everything out, and and uh, Mondrian did flat color planes, and just a lot of I could go on. And then the pop artists started doing paintings of flat stuff, you know. And, and I thought flat, flat. Okay, I get it. And the so I was trying to figure out how to how I'm going to go be a great artist and answer all my art fathers who was the 20th century. And then I thought, well, let's see. What happened in the last century was they did space and a, an illusion of depth. And in my century, they're doing flat. So I have to come up with flat depth. Flat I didn't depth. know what that was, but it was a great 19-year-old stone teenager thing to come up with, I thought. And the result? The, the result, result was, I guess the results were 40 years of piling up a lot of garbage trying to figure out or find what flat depth is and about 10 years ago I realized uh, a crumpled piece of paper out of a magazine or a candy wrapper or something looked beautiful and um, did a lot of work with collage and real the paper and and then one day just wished I could make a giant crumpled piece of paper and um, uh, it was pretty funny on the road to that believe me there's lots of mistakes and fires and stuff. <laughs> have you ever what? had a, because people huh? don't know how, people don't know how you work with, uh, with fire, but you're going to maybe show a little bit. Have you ever had You a, know, I'm having just a little trouble hearing you. Okay. Better? Uh, that's better. Better? Perfect. Yeah, a little Perfect. better. So, uh, have I'm you ever had a accident with the fire? How did you get into this technique? How do you work it? How do you use it? Well, um, you know, I guess, you know, with any artist who's using fire and razor blades and sharp stuff and, 
there's going to be a little burns, a little blood, a little little tears, <laughs> but, <laughs> but uh, a few problem. stitches here and there. <laughs> but uh, after a couple of years of doing this, I'm learning to get out of the way of the fire. And I'm, I'm cutting myself less. I'm burning myself less. <laughs> but there was a lot of times when I'd come home and there'd be part of my hair would be and, and my wife would think I got a new punk haircut, you know, because <laughs> all the hair is gone right here. You know. <laughs> it's, true. It's, it's true. It's and how do you how do you choose all the newspapers and the magazines that you use? Maybe we can see a bit what you have behind, so our followers can. Yes, see I guess I need to your get ideas. up. Oh, the light just went. Sorry. It's um, okay. Let's see. How do I do this? I'm really new at kind of walking around and but at least I can all right so well there uh this thing is about 30 years old and that was a painting of a collage a two-dimensional thing and and it's trying to be three-dimensional so that's the the flat depth attempt so I did a lot of paintings like that that's acrylic on canvas and it is a flat canvas but it looks like an open magazine it's a dimensional yet flat thing And of course, here we have something I did recently. Oh, this is difficult. Oh, okay, there it is. There's um, Tell Me More Lies. That's okay. Barbie with Pinocchio. Uh, okay. I think I'm the first artist ever to put Barbie and Pinocchio together. Together. <laughs> anyway, mm. um, oh, I wish I could do this right. Anyway, this is some of my new newspaper stuff, which I'm going to call a swirl, because it's swirling. And I'm really digging these new pieces. In fact, I'm going to make a whole bunch of these because, well, I just love them. And and you asked me, how do I come? I just pick what I like, you know. Uh, I just, what I find to be cool or hip or I like it or it's beautiful. Um, uh, that's what I'm doing. Here's another. There's a comic book. There's a $2 bill. And here we have another swirl, one of my yeah. later swirl pieces. And here I have a commission I just did with Smith Davidson Gallery. Oh, I have to move back here. Yes. Oh, this is difficult. We okay, thank actually and, and we thank Smith Davidson Gallery to introduce to us uh, with you and to let us have you here with the collaboration and unique luxury and your pieces and the, our events. Yes, da uh, Smith Davidson, my 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 hero gallery that um, shows me all over the world and 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 boy, oh boy, David Smith knows what he's doing. Um, oh, and, oh, let me show you something else I did today. This is today. Yeah. Uh, I'll just start with, let's see if we can. This is what I would call um, the other side of the coin, because if the other stuff is realism in a way, this is my abstraction, because I swing both ways. I both do abstraction and realism. <laughs> anyway, this is a, a piece that literally... Well, change uh, colors as you move about it. Um, it's a, a duotone, I call it. You know, if it's not uh, two colors, I call it a mono color piece. This is a duotone piece. And um, am I showing Beautiful. that? I don't even know what I'm, you're seeing. Yes, yes, you are showing But, it. It's, it looks amazing. We see all yeah. the, the ripple. Yeah, so that's a nice piece. And this How one is... Yeah. How long does it take for you to do a, a, a artwork like this one, like an abstract artwork? Uh, you know, many days of prep because that's a, I know that doesn't look like it, but that's a painting. Um, you know, it's maybe just one flat color, but to get it really pristine and clean, I have to, you know, pre prep the glass and, and then uh, paint the glass and then uh, put all this stuff over the paint to protect it because, you know, we're looking through a sheet of acrylic yes. um, at the paint. So the paint's on the other side and you're looking through the acrylic at the paint. And, and it's really tricky to get it really clean and pristine and no mistakes. And uh, that took, um, I guess, several days in prep and finish. And uh, still, still there's more work to come. The edges need to be cleaned up and hangers need to be put on and so on. Uh, here's another one. And this one is a more subtle effect. I love the, the, the yellow, the bright yellow with the forms. Yeah, I was trying to really go for chartreuse and somehow missed a little. I'll try again sometime. But uh, there ain't no mistakes in art, right? 
There are no mistakes. <laughs> People are saying love the duo tone and the Barbie Pinocchio concept. Also, we have clients here. Kevin, hello, saying hello. Uh, prepare your questions for Paul while he's explaining to us about the, these lovely pieces that you have been doing during this quarantine and how you make these forms, how you get the, the wrinkle. Well, we heat it up quite a bit and, uh, and I get it really hot and then I have, you know, a few seconds or maybe it's more like 30 or 40 seconds to do something. Um, if I'm not totally happy with what I've done, there are, I mean, I can't really redo it, but I can tweak with a torch, which I'm sure you've seen. Um, maybe I've posted a few times me using the torch and so on. Um, the torch, I couldn't have made this piece, oh golly, um, without a torch, because I, I do a lot of tweaking with it and make it just, just how I want it. It really, uh, and then of course, something like this certainly needs a lot of help with a torch. But basically, we get it all hot first, so the box is bent, and then that's done, and then you start filling it up with giant hot pieces of plastic until it, it looks fabulous from all sides, because it's, of course, a pedestal piece. And uh, God, I hope I'm showing you that. Yes, you are showing us. <laughs> okay, because I can't and, see what I'm doing when I do and, that. And we see your walls full of your artworks, and it's a big studio that you have there. You are yes, in Charlotte, yes. right? Uh, here, I'll just take a little spin around the room here. Yes. We want to yeah. know where you work. To feel so we are there. Yeah, it's a big room, and I've, you know, waited for this room all my life. <laughs> and I've only been in here since, like, October, I guess. It's and, a new um, studio. Yes, this is my new studio. And my dream studio. I've, been, I've even got that room across the way there. Is, yes. uh, that's a spray booth, which I've wanted for decades, so I can use a spray gun at will, so I can do these, because that's how I paint them. Uh, I have to spray it on, and it, it requires a spray booth. And before, I used to just do the best I could and put up a, a big plastic drape like a murder room on Dexter and spray and take it down. <laughs> it's a nightmare. But now I have a, a room designated just for that. So congratulations and, on your dream. Look at all my storage, because I do a lot yeah. of art. And this is a big deal, because I used to have to like schlep it all over town and borrow this guy's storage space. And then he needs it, and I move it out. It was a nightmare. So now I have it all, all here. Sorry. It's just great. They're all saying, heaven. That's where we are. Paul Heaven. <laughs> they are saying, lovely place. What an amazing art, amazing talent, an incredible studio. More than happy to have you in Mexico City soon. The studio space oh, yes. is an absolute dream. Nooch is also an artist. He, what? He, Who? Nooch, 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 Nooch and Wood. He's an oh, 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 yes, of course. He does. He's absolutely fabulous. Absolutely. So he's saying hi and the studio space is absolute dream. So you have, uh, you have completed your, your dream of having this studio that you were wanted for many decades what's your future dreams where do you see your art your well not now art? i you know i just come in and go to work every day my dreams are the next piece to get done and go on to the next one and the one after that and the one after that you know it's it's a great thing to you work your whole life and actually i get you know realize your dream yeah i mean it's you know, these people who say, I'm living the dream. You know, well, I really am. I'm really living the dream. I really am. And, I'm, and, and my work seems to grow and continue. And I keep searching for new ways to do flat depth and, and show it and get it done. And, um, and I'm just really happy to be here. Although we're in such horrible times right now in America, you know, I feel almost guilty. Like I'm dancing through the raindrops, you know. Um, uh, I, I don't get around people so I, I don't I don't really have to worry about this dreaded virus that's just such a such a horrible situation and not to mention all the unrest and violence in America today and I'm in my little my little safe bubble I I, 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 I you know all I can do is send money to politicians running against politicians I disagree with that's all I can do and, and make more art and and uh, 
and talk to you. And also through your art, I know you are giving an, a statement, an important statement. So continue doing it. Well, you know, honestly, uh, Perla, all the stuff that I use, which I like to just call print, you know, this, this stuff, this two-dimensional stuff that really took us out of the dark ages, um, educated the masses, the printing press, etc. cetera. Uh, it's over for print. We're sort of at the end of that era. And so, you know, this stuff, print, the stuff that I use, I, I kind of paint with it or I sculpt with it or whatever you want to call it, collage with it. It's sort of over for print, magazines, newspapers. I don't know how long it's going to be before, you know, there's no more paper money or anything or no more newspapers, no more paper comic books, no more, no more of the stuff like that. And, um, and so these are all little sort of monuments to this thing, this stuff called print. And I, I, I feel like, the, you know, in 100 years, people will look at what I've done or this stuff and they'll go, what is that? Oh, well, that's <laughs> called a newspaper. People used to actually get one every morning. Um, really you know, <laughs> it's, what, what the, what, it's, what, what is this? You know, um, anyway, and so I, I kind of feel like I'm, I'm really, you know, conquering my slot in time, my moment in time as sort of that end of that stuff that I, I love and hold dear. And I love text. I love colors. I love everything about it. And, um, and it's over for this stuff. But my stuff will live on well, and exactly. continue to say this is who we were and I don't know. Exactly, exactly. That's why it's very important. That's why. So well, I, I hope it, we hope it's important. Uh, we hope so. We'll see. We'll see in about 100 years. We'll check back in. We'll see. Maybe we'll see another life and we'll talk about it. <laughs> Absolutely. So, Paul, tell me, why for you it's interesting to collaborate? I know you have a gallery, the, the Smith Davidson, but why for you it's uh, interesting to collaborate uh, with a platform as of Unique Luxury that supports emerging artists? Oh, well, it's simple because uh, Jack's such a great party animal that I, I just love coming to Cabo for big shows and I just love uh, everything about it, you know. Um, for you know, for a minute, I feel like a big shot when you guys put on a big soiree, soiree, and I get to come down with my wife, and that's why. Why else? Uh, and of course, you know, show my work to more people and have more stuff like that, and yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Exactly. Exactly. Please say hello. But mainly, it's Jack. Also. Jack. It's all Jack. You know. It's all Jack. Jack is here somewhere. He's saying hi. Is he there? Talk. Where is he? Is Jack there? I think so. Yeah. I don't see him. Oh, he's not. I, I, it doesn't help me to look around like that, I guess. So we have also a person, he sa she's saying, will you do or have ever done a piece that bends around a wall or a corner? I think that would be awesome. Yes, uh, I discussed that once, and uh, I guess the client chickened out, but I had figured <laughs> out a way to do that. It would have been expensive because I would have had to have build a form that is the same circumference as the wall, and then I would bend the pieces at, at, you know, on that circumference so I could get it just perfect and they would hang perfectly on their circular wall, round wall. So this commission piece was not made at, at the end? It was not and, No, at the end, at the end, they, uh, let's see, what did they, they just went for a big, you know, crumpled abstract piece. But they wanted to do like a really big one bending around. And I was all excited about it. Uh, I had never done that, but uh, I figured out a way. I know I could do it now, so I'm glad that whether or not they did it or not, I now know in my head how to do it. So if anyone Perfect. out there wants a big, curved, giant thing, I know how to do it. Perfect. I, I was going to say that. So if you want it, uh, her name is Alicia. Alicia, we can ship everywhere, so <laughs> just let us know. Because you do a lot of commission pieces. As, as oh, I'm Mr. Saying. Commission. You just call me Mr. Commission. Okay, Mr. Commission. Oh, so, yeah. so can we see a bit of, of the torch or heat up a little bit this morning before we uh, say goodbye? Do you think it's possible? What, you want me to fire up the torch? Just to yes. see the fire? Yes, let's ring the fire. Come on, baby, light my fire. <laughs> okay, uh, let me just... Um, do I you don't... use music? Do you hear music while working? 
yes, music is always blasting, but if I had the music blasting, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no. All right, so here we go. Um, a little, a little fire. Is that what we're looking for? Yes. <laughs> There you go. Yeah, so now you, got, you don't want to go near that because it's really hot. Yes, and, uh, I imagine. And it's all kinds of exciting. And uh, it's, it took me years to not screw up a piece by wanting to change something. So it took a lot of nerve a lot of times because I would ruin a lot of pieces uh, until I figured out how to do it right. So there was a lot of a painful learning curve, learning to use the torch without destroying everything. Oh, here's a new piece. Here, I'll just turn around. That'll make it easier. Sort of a, yes. sort of a, something I had to get off my chest. Um, it's literally a piece of New York City. You know, I just tore off some pieces and added some of my stuff. And, and it's the first piece I've ever did that really isn't really undulating. It's, it's sort of flat, but certainly has the dimension and the, uh, just not exactly crumpled, as yes. you can see. A little crumpling there. So we have that... Kevin. Kevin is a client, the one you remember, the Reese's cup piece. He's saying this was great, thanks to you. Also love my Reese's original you did for my office. He's on LA. So thank you. Kevin, oh good. I'm glad we've got people actually so we got a lot of people watching this i mean yes of course of course i, I can't see anything i can't see who's talking i can't well my, so we I, have... I need to have glasses on i don't know <laughs> but I, that's why i'm here for you uh yes, so you, they yes. also say post personality is as colorful as his art so uh, you should see me when i have both hands to swing around and go crazy <laughs> but I, I gotta hold the phone you know uh, yes <laughs> yes so thank you very much, Paul, for giving us this amazing tour into your studio, for letting us know about your technique, about you. Uh, last question, who, which artist you are, admire the most? Oh, God, that's a tough one. Um, you know, I get asked that a lot. Uh, geez. I guess, right, you know, it changes. The older I get, when I was younger, I loved this guy. But I think, I think Gerhard Richter just blows my mind. I think he's just amazing. Gerhard Richter. Wow. Now there's a lot of contemporary artists I could go on and on and on about, but he's just like the daddy. And he's still at it. He must be, I don't know what, 88, 90. I, I really don't know, but he's still cranking them out and he's just amazing. So that's right now. That's my favorite. Check back with me in a week. It might be David Hockney. I don't know. Okay. Anyway. I'll, I'll I'll ask you. I'll ask you in a week. Yeah, check back. We'll probably have somebody different. Great. We have another last question. Do you ever insert any hidden messages into your pieces? Wow, that's you know, a good question. Well, you know, when I was in high school, I I just did that all the time. I don't have time to think like that. I'm too busy not thinking. The trick to making what I do is not think or not think of cool stuff like that you just you just pick out stuff you like and go for it and try not to think and try not to do any uh, anything because I, I you know I'm trying to be a little pure with what my subject matter is so so many not that there's anything wrong with this but so many pop artists you know they want to layer and drip and scrape and layer and you know and that's great I love that stuff you know but I'm trying to not be them by not doing anything like that or some cool addition and I just use this it's just what what this what it is it's just what it is it's a it's a candy wrapper it's a it's a newspaper it's it's the color green up there it's, it's all it, there's no that's it pure pure, pure. it's yeah. like a meditation right yes mm -hmm. I mean I just want it to be what it is I mean and so, you know and I am you know abstracting things more and more but basically yeah, I, I just want it to be what it is, and I've I've touched it, and and it, it's now a little bit more. Um, I don't know, powerful because it's so big and it's solid, and it looks not like it's. Uh, it, it's just there's so many factors. Even if you're in the room with one and you touch the newspaper or the money, it feels like money. It feels like paper, 
Um, I mean, I really run after just letting it be what it is as best I can. That's Thank what I you. Do. Thank you. And we have uh, Mary saying, please tell Paul that he's so talented. We all think you are very talented and we are very happy to have your artwork in Mexico with us and to have you in our past experiences and to the future exhibitions as well. We are very thrilled to have new art of your artwork of the abstracts maybe in Mexico City and in Cabo and on the future exhibitions that we're gonna make. And of well, course- I just do the best I can. You. That's all I do. That's all I can do. Do the best I can. <laughs> Uh, they are saying what an energetic, incredible artist. Thanks for sharing. This has been wonderful. So I, it's, it's been a very, very, uh, they're saying thank you, Paul. It has been a very wonderful time, funny time always with you, Paul. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Um, I had more fun than they did. I can tell you that. And please join us on our different, uh, I'm saying to everyone that has been here with us on the last two months in these different lives. You can see more of art of Paul's artwork in our several Instagram, websites. Everything's available. We ship everywhere or even Paul can commission some pieces. So let us know and thank you all. And if there's anything else or we say goodbye. Okay. Well, thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. And thanks for doing this, Perla. And it's always good to see you. And I hope to see you in Cabo soon. Yes. Very soon. We hope to see you very soon in Cabo. Okay, darling. You have a good Bye -bye. day. Bye. Bye. You too. Bye. Thank you.